My full name is Antonia Teva, but you could simply call me Andy. Could you please introduce yourself to me? Oh yeah, uh, my full name is Aisha Zuhu Farahomarijan, but you can just call me Aisha or Asha. Oh, okay, Aisha or Asha. So that is how, how I pronounce the, the name. Yes. Okay, so I would like to know uh, why do you want to take this IELTS preparation class and then when will you take it, the real IELTS test? Um, I'm, I wanted to take this class to prepare myself for the IELTS test because I want to join a student exchange. I still don't know if I'll actually join it, but I think I'm going to join it. And I'm going to take the test as soon as possible, I guess. Maybe like from March or April. Ah, oh, okay. So when is that, the students exchange? Um, I don't know the exact date, but I think the registration is on 1st of May. Where, it, where will it be? What? I'm sorry? Where the students exchange? So where do you want to go for the exchange program? Oh, so I looked out for the universities that has my, um, what is it called? My major course. Major, my major, my course, yeah. And the ones available are only two and it's in Malaysia and the US. Oh, okay, Malaysia and US. What course is that? Uh, design. Oh, design. Is that interior design or communication visual design? Uh, visual communication design. Oh, okay. Um, so, one of the requirements is uh, IELTS. Yes. What score would you like to achieve? Uh, above 6.5. Or 6.5 with no band less than 6? Yes. Have you taken any IELTS course or IELTS nope. preparation before? Oh, what about IELTS real test? Have you taken it before? Nope. Okay, so today I'm going to do a simulation on IELTS. However, it will be on speaking only. Okay. So... First of all, I would like to explain to you about what IELTS speaking section will be. So IELTS speaking section, it will take around 11 to 40 minutes to complete. Uh, if you take the paper based test, and then it will be tested. It might be tested in different day from the other three parts. So you might have speaking section today and then the other three parts, reading, listening, and also writing the other day or the other way around. However, it depends on the number of the participants. So if the number of the participants is too many and then you will be tested different day. Um, within this 11 up to 14 minutes, you are going to have three different, different tasks. So the first one, the first part, um, the examiner is going to take your time for about four to five minutes. Within these four to five minutes, you are going to be um, ask question about yourself and also some question about general topic. So in this first part, the first part of IELTS speaking section, um, you have to answer the question directly. So by the time the examiner asks you the question, after he or she finish it, and then you have to answer it directly. After that, you will have the second part. So for the second part, you will be given a task card. Within the task card, you are going to find out a topic and then questions that you need to answer related to the topic. For question two, it is a bit different for um, part one because in part two, you are going to be given one minute to prepare. So you may use this one minute preparation time to take notes about what you are going to say. And then after that, um, you will have you will definitely have one up to two minutes to talk. Uh, please do not talk less than one minute, but if you, if you talk uh, longer than two minutes and then the examiner is going to stop you. After that, um, if it is possible, the examiner is going to ask you one up to two follow-up question. 
related to part two. After that, you are going to definitely have the last part. So the last part or the third part, it will be like a discussion between you and the examiner. So this, the examiner is going to ask you question that the topic is related to uh, the topic provided in section in part two. So here, uh, um, section three is a bit the same as section one in which that you do not have any preparation time. So after the examiner finished the question, you have to answer it directly. However, there is a bit different between section one and section three. So for section one, do not speak too short. However, do not speak too long. Two or three sentences is enough. While for part three, you are about to support your answer with reasons and also example. It could be taken from your personal experiences or other personal experiences. However, uh, three sentences are minimum in section three. Do you have questions so far about section one, two, and three in IELTS speaking section? Not yet. Okay, let us move on. These are the do and don'ts in IELTS speaking. So the first one, be aware of the question types. Pay attention to the question carefully so that you will not give irrelevant answer. The second one, do not give one or two word answer. You have to answer the question and also give added information. So for example, do you have any plans to go to university? And then your answer should not stop at, yes, I do, no, I don't. Do not do like that. You have to answer the question and then give added information. So for example, yes, I do. I would like to major in mechanical engineering. Do you get this one? Yes. Question? Mm, no. OK, this is uh, another tip for do and don'ts in IELTS speaking. So the first one, good answer, contain main answer and also supporting ideas. So take a look at this one. Do you like swimming? And then the answer, I love swimming because it is so relaxing. Besides, it helps me be in safe. So here you have the main idea. You have the answer to the question in which I love swimming. And then you have the supporting ideas. It is so relaxing and also it helps me be in safe. So you have supporting idea one and then supporting idea two. To make a good answer, which contain main answer and also supporting ideas, you are supposed to use linking words. So linking words here are very important because they help the examiner follow your ideas. So for example, this one, I love swimming because it is so relaxing. Besides, it helped me be in safe. So you have linking words one and linking words two, which are because and besides. Whereas you have another um, linking words that you could use. Do you have question about this one? Okay, another one that you have to take for consideration when go, you go for IELTS speaking section, if you cannot think of a word, then paraphrase it. So for example, he is a reliable person, but then you, in the middle of your talk, you are panic, nervous, and then you cannot think of the word reliable, then paraphrase it. So you could paraphrase the word reliable into he is a sort of person you can always depend on. Do you get what I mean here? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> okay, very good. Next one, uh, listen carefully to the question and answer the question to the point. Do not go around the page. So here, what does, I, uh, what, what does it mean is here. So um, somehow in IELTS speaking section, you might get question that you are familiar with it already, or you might get topic that you are not familiar at all, or you do not have any experience about that topic at all. So. Uh, if the examiner asks you a question and then you would like to buy a time for thinking about the answer, you cannot answer it directly. Instead of saying, hmm, uh, or being phrased at a couple of seconds in, at the beginning, it is better for you to use this kind of phrases to buy the time while thinking about the answer. So for example, the examiner asks you a question, do you think that uh, students should be given homework and then you still think about the idea, you still think about how to answer this one? And then you might say, that is an interesting question. Let me think about it. 
or you could say i'm so sorry uh, if you if you if you do not hear it clearly and then you could say i'm so sorry i'm not sure what you mean by that can you repeat your question please or you could say so let me see and then you think and then answer any question about this one no since you have no question then let us go for practice so this is part one um for part one i'm going to be the examiner and then you are going to be the candidate so i'm going to ask you question related to school four questions related to school and then you have to answer with me directly remember that this is part one okay. so one um two or three sentences are enough okay so let us go uh did you go to senior high school near to where you live yes i do it's around six kilometers from my house what did you like about your high school i don't like anything about it oh the my trick. god wait, wait i gotta think about another answer <laughs> okay um, um, uh, I like I like my uh, the people in the school. I like my friends. Mm -hmm. Tell me about anything you didn't like at your school. I hate the location of it because it's in the middle of an industrial complex. Mm -hmm. Last question: How do you think your school could be improved? To uh, I think they need to fix a lot of the facilities. Okay, that's great. So what do you think about this part one? I think it's okay, but I'm kind of nervous, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, so pay attention to this one. Um, for part one, the question will stop here. Uh, did you go to high school near to where you live? The question will stop here. However, to answer this kind of question, pay, please put in mind that why and why not is behind the question. Mm -hmm. And then it's okay to lie, so you do not need to tell the truth because there is no criteria for the um, there is no criteria for whether the answer is true or not. So it's okay to lie. You do not you could create your own story to support your answer. Okay. Do you have a question related to part one? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, well, did I answer it correctly? Is it yes. like that? Mm -hmm. Sure, you answer it correctly. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm going to give you feedback at the end of this one. So that uh, okay, okay. let us go for part two. Imagine that this is the card given to you. So I want you to describe about something you do not have now, but you would really like to own it in the future. In your answer, you have to state this core statement, what this thing is, how long you have wanted to own it, where you first saw it, and explain why would why you why you would like to own it. Okay. I'm going okay, I'm going to give you one minute to prepare. You may take notes about what you are going to say. Okay, one minute to prepare starting from now. Okay, time is up. Now uh, you will have one up to two minutes to talk. Do not talk less than one minute, but that's okay if you talk longer than two minutes. I'm going to stop you if you accept it now. 
Okay, so let us go. You may start talk now. Okay, so the thing I really want to have is my own property or a house to be exact. I've wanted to have a house or a property for this past few years. I've been thinking about it. And um, when I first saw it is when I, when I, the moment I can remember things, when I got conscious about my memory, that's when I first saw it. And the reason why I really want to own a, my own house is because it's a necessary thing to live with. And being an adult, you can't live with your parents all the time. So you have to move out and buy your own house. Because like if you pay for rent all the time, like I think it's not secure. I don't feel secure if I don't have it on my own. So I really, really need it for my shelter, for my daily life. Is, is, that, is that too short? I'm sorry. <laughs> so you still have 50 seconds to talk. Okay, I am done though. Oh, okay, no worries. Okay, so uh, that is part two. Do you have question? Mm, nope. Okay, so for part two, uh, you are about to answer the question and then the topic given. So within your answer, you have to answer this for uh, this four completely. Mm -hmm. uh, since you have one up to two minutes to talk, um, you are not allowed. Not uh, not that not allowed, but you are supposed not to talk less than one minute, because if you talk mm -hmm. less than one minute and then it will, uh, it will give the examiner little access to assess your speaking ability. So you are allowed to add more things rather than this four. However, make sure mm -hmm. that within that one up to two minutes talk, all of these are answered. Okay, okay. So uh, make sure that by the time you answer the question in, in part two, um, you may add, you, you might, uh, add anything. For example, you saw it with somebody or with whom uh, do you want to have your own uh, house? That's okay. However, you need to answer this for completely. Mm -hmm. Let us go for part three. What types of things do young people in your country most want to own today? Um, the latest smartphone because people don't want to look poor, I would say. They don't want to be behind from the trend. Second one, why do people feel they need to own things? For their happiness, to show off to their friends, families, and for their needs too. Okay, last question. Do you think that owning lots of things makes people happy? Yes, I think it makes people happy because if you own many things, it means that you have a lot of money. And if you have a lot of money equals happiness. Okay, that's great. Do you have questions so far about part three? Mm, not really, but I think my answer is a bit too short. Okay, so let me give you, uh, or do you have question part one, part two, part three? No, no. Okay, so I'm going to give you feedbacks on part one first. So mm -hmm. the, the whole part actually. So for the whole, uh, uh, so far, uh, you could answer the question well, uh, fluently in terms of fluency, you could answer it uh, fluently. And then you could give me relevant information or relevant answer to the question. The things that I would like to highlight is that uh, in IELTS, you are supposed to give less common vocabulary. And then it should be like, you have to use advanced vocabulary. And then you are about to paraphrase. So do not repeat your question. You do not repeat the question in your answer. So for example, what did I like about, what did you like about um, your school? And then do not say, 
uh, what I like about my school is. So do not repeat it. You have to paraphrase. So for example, what did you like about your uh, high school? And then you could say, I am a big fan of my uh, chemistry teacher, things like that. So you have to paraphrase mm -hmm. it. Since uh, for part one, since it is uh, two or three sentences enough, uh, what I mean by two or three sentences is that is this. So, um, did you go to senior high school near to where you live? Yes, I did. That is the first one. The second one, um, the location of my school is only 10 meters from home, the second one. And then you put the third mm -hmm. one, the third sentence. So it should be a bit, not too short, but not, not too long. Okay. And then for part two, the same, you could answer this one um, fluently. However, the thing is that uh, it's like you speak too short. Uh, you still have like 50 seconds to talk, so maximize it. Do not talk less than one minute. Do not worry about the time because the examiner is going to stop you if you exit two minutes. Okay. And then for uh, part three, uh, I have told you before that part three is like a discussion between you and the examiner. So make sure in answering part three, you could provide the reason behind of your opinion. You could provide the reason and also the example. The example could be taken from your own or it could be taken from other people experiences. So for example, in uh, question part one, what types of things do young people in your country most want to own today? And then you could say it is uh, the latest mobile phone and then tell why. So you could use the example of one of my best friend is an is a celebram and then he used the latest um, mobile phone to take pictures, take videos, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then for the third question, do you think that owning lots of things makes people happy? Instead of just saying yes, it is, you could say, I couldn't agree more that uh, owning lots of things could make me satisfied. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have questions so far? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so before that, what time do you want to learn or what day or which day? For now, I'm free all the time because I'm still, uh, I haven't started college yet, but mm -hmm. next month I'm going to start college and I still don't know my schedule yet. So honestly, I don't know for sure. Ah, okay. Can so, I like, change my schedule if like it's, uh, it, it's the same time with my college time mm -hmm. next month? It depends on the discussion between you and the tutor. Okay, okay. So if you would like to change the schedule and then you will discuss it with, you, with your tutor. Okay. Okay, so do you still have question? No, I think that's it. Okay, since you have no question, then thank you for joining me today. I'm going to see you around. Okay, thank you, Miss Annie. <laughs>